Good morning, Libras. This is going to be your money and career um, messages, right? Um, you guys' energy came up so heavy in Taurus's reading. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be Tauruses with Libra placements, or you could be a Libra with Taurus placement, preferably Taurus moon, okay? Or you could be a Taurus with the Libra moon. But heavy, yeah, you guys came out in Taurus's reading. Um, this can apply if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, or north node. So this is money and career. We're going to do past, present, and future energies, okay? Some of you guys got Virgo in your charts or Scorpio. All right, so I already shuffled everything after I did Taurus's reading last night, so I'm not going to overdo it. So let's see the past money and career energies for future placements. I'm not going to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got two cards that flew out. The two cards were a time of celebration and success. We got Sun and Leo, joy. And then we have stand firm in the eye of the storm, eclipse and Scorpio regeneration. But they came out in reverse. So I feel like for some of... Um, let me put it so you guys can see the cards. Sorry, guys. So I feel like for some of you guys... Some of you guys could be from Florida or some of you guys could be visiting Florida, okay? Um, yeah. Passion. Interesting. Um, yeah, maybe some of you some of you guys could have there could have been some type of decline in your business, okay? Right? This could have been this, you know, this is past energies, right? Past could be anything before yesterday or before this fucking reading. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, a minute ago is the past, right? Um, so you know, this can have been a decline in your business, your career, money, okay. For some of you guys, maybe some of you guys were celebrating something. Some of you guys could have moved somewhere tropical, okay? Or, you know, there's palm trees here, Florida, California, um, Texas even, Georgia. Somewhere overseas that's tropical. Um, and maybe things for a while, they were good, right? You know, this was something that was, you know, you, you know this was a big thing. And then, like, you know, things could have, things could be... Things could have started to get a little challenging, right? So that joy that you had where everything was kind of going great when you first moved or when you first left that job, when you first went independent or, you know, when you first started the when you first started a job, maybe it's kind of it withered, okay? Current. Yeah, Sun and Libra. So this is your energy. Harmony, enjoy life with music, love, and romance. This is what you guys could be focusing on right now. A lot of you guys are deciding to not focus too much on... A lot of you guys are trying to balance work and um, home life and just having fun. Some of you guys in the past could have just... Especially if you have earth placements, you know, you guys could have been overworking yourselves, okay? This could have taken away passion. This could have taken away excitement in your love life if you have one. Especially if you're married or in a relationship, okay? Um, I feel like, oh, this could have taken you away from your family, your friends. And a lot of you guys now are just trying to find that perfect balance in regards to like work life and home and love and stuff like that, especially oh, and for those of you who have kids. A lot of you guys are in the music industry. A lot of you guys could be in the beauty industry, okay? Um, you can do something, you know, with the physical, something in the arts, actresses, music, um, musicians. You can be singers, um, writers, songwriters, um, Something you guys do that that either affects the appearance or you help people look better in some way. Okay, you contribute to beauty and art, and whether it's through music, through love, whether you guys are um, dancers, whether you guys um, 
write music, you're writers of some sort, um, only fans too, or um, you guys could be nutritionists, you guys could just do something that helps people look and feel better. I feel like that's what you I feel like that's what you guys are focusing on right now. Right? Or you guys this could just be your life, right? Yeah, moon and air is courage, believe in yourself, your sister sign energy. So a lot of you guys could be recently getting a lot of you guys could be recently going into a whole new path. You guys could be going into a different field of work. Okay. Some of you aren't in the beauty industry, though. You do something with beauty. So you guys can be makeup artists. You can do something with cosmetics. Something about making people look and feel good or look and feel better. I mean, and Belieber is a sign that you guys know how to make everything better. You guys know how to spot out what can make something or somebody look better, okay, or feel better. You you guys know. You guys have a knack for that. You're rude, you're rude by your view. Ruled by Venus. I'm sorry. Ruled by Venus. It's Gemini season and I'm a fucking Gemini and I can't fucking speak. I'm done. Um, makes no sense. But um, you guys are ruled by Venus. So you guys have a knack of like, you guys know how to just make people better. You you guys, a Libra, when a Libra comes into your life, they always make you look better, dress better. You know, they just make you, you know, they just make you better in some way. They add more, you guys add more grace to people's lives. Okay, that could be, or you could be doing this, you can be adding this to yourself, or for you could be doing this to others. Or if some of you, let's see, um, future money for that energy. Saver. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna put this, yeah, Libra. I feel like for some of you guys, yeah, you got Capricorn placements, Gemini placements too. Some of you guys can have a moon in Cancer, okay. Um, or you could be a Cancer with a Libra moon. But I feel like this is a... Some of you guys are in a very sensitive phase right now. Introspective phase, right? Belonging. Some of you guys miss home. Some of you guys could be taking trips on a boat or cruise. Or you're wanting to or you will be. Okay? Some of you guys may own boats or you will someday. Some of you guys be, may be wanting to get into... Um, some of you guys may be living by water. You will benefit by living near the water. Or going by more water, especially if you're going through an emotional time right now. Keep some money for that energy, And we have Taurus, Eclipse and Taurus, re-evaluation, a change of heart. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you guys could be rebranding at this time, okay? Or some, and somewhere in your near future, you will be. Yeah, I feel like I do see a rebranding coming for some of you guys here at some point in the future. Yeah, moon and Aries, believe in yourself, courage. So, yeah, um, a lot of you guys will be, you guys may be switching fields. If you're not in this beauty and this art and this whatever music or creative um, field right now, I feel like you will be going, you're stepping into it. And if you're already into it, you may be stepping into something new, adding, you may be adding, like rebranding yourself, adding a new service, taking away an old service, or just, you may be switching up how you do things. Okay. But there's reevaluation. There's some type of innovation. There's, you guys are in the, you guys are in a very innovative space right now. You guys are wanting to change things up. Okay. You guys could be, maybe you guys want to create your own, you want to create your own merchandise. Okay, maybe you want to create your own skincare line, your own um, products. Okay, maybe you guys want to write your own music. Okay, you want to design your own clothes. Maybe you guys want to create your own art or, you know, something like that. But there's something you guys are, you know, you guys are changing something. I like this energy. What's under Aries is Scorpio, passion, a passionate or intense, mysterious space. So some of you guys may not know what you want to do. You may feel like life is just, you know, you may feel a little aimless right now. You may feel a little confused, but I feel like your hard work is going to be paying off. The energy may be a little slow for you right now, but it's, it's kind of meant to be this way because you're kind of meant to go within and figure out what it is that you want to give to others and how you want to go about that. And what about yourself may need to change so you can provide that. Um, 
yeah, we got surrender to the divine. So, you know, whatever, uh, whatever tower moment or whatever change that could have thrown you off some at some time during the past. Yeah, you could have, some of you guys could have lost friends, okay? Some of you guys could have just, you know, you guys, this could have been something about with your home, okay? Or just, you know, this change, this location, right? Again, I feel like something could have been like a success and then it kind of, it plopped a bit, right? But that's that was meant to happen. There is something that you need to release. Okay, we got full moon energy, surrender to the divine. So this was meant for you to kind of just, you know, release control because you guys can be a bit of control freaks, okay? Something is happening or something has changed or shifted in your life that is going to be out, that has been outside of your control, all right? And if this doesn't happen yet, then it will be. Um, but just surrender, you, you know, just surrender because you guys, it's, it's, you guys are being, you guys are needing to kind of anchor yourself right now. So you can, you guys are needing to disconnect from work, disconnect from social media probably, or just spend less time on there. Some of you guys could be getting too wrapped up in images and what other people are doing, how other people look, and you know, you're comparing yourself. So, you know, taking your eyes off your own paper could have caused your own demise. And that could have been with this, you know, this, this was, that happened. You guys are being asked to surrender, but again, you guys are meant to do beautiful things. A lot of you guys are very, I don't, I've never met an unattractive Libra. I said this in one of your other readings, okay? Like, you guys are ruled by Venus. You guys just know how to just make yourselves look and feel better. And you do that for other people. You're meant to, you're meant to do that for others in some way. Similar to Taurus reading, um, check out Taurus if you want to. Um, current You're meant to bring more love and just more romance and just beauty into the world, right? More grace. You guys are so graceful, Libras. You guys are very graceful. That's why things tend to work out for you guys, regardless. And you guys are also ruled by the Justice card in Tarot, which is balance. So you guys always end up, you know, the, all the love that you, even when people are being nasty or disrespectful or bitchy towards you, you guys always manage to be like harmonious or you try to be, right? Or you guys always manage to be like peaceful and, you know, just graceful and mature. And even if you don't like the person, right? Even if you think they're ugly <laughs> or if you think they're, they're on a, if you think their energy or their spirit is ugly you guys still always manage to be respectful and that's why things always tend to work out for you guys okay because that karma comes right back to you guys just as how people get that karma for how they treat you you get it right back as well good or bad um We have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So I feel like maybe um, those of you who are a bit distracted, I don't know if something's going on with family at this time. I feel like if it is, my condolences if you have a family member who's sick or someone is going through something or there can be some change in the family or if you guys have taken some type of loss or if you guys don't feel your best mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever that is, you will heal. You will recover from this. This family member, this friend, they will heal and recover, okay? Your spouse or your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, lover, whoever, they'll get through this or you will. Some of you guys may want to get into real estate, okay? Cancer talks about the home. You could be worried about your mother or your grandmother. You could be thinking about, you know, you. I feel like you do have an, uh, an angel. If you had a mother or a grandmother or a mother figure who's passed on, I do feel like this person or aunt or whatever, this person looks um, after you. They could be a Taurus or somebody here of, you know, they, they somebody here looks after you. Okay, you're safe. Maybe you don't have the best relationship with your mother, okay? The best rapport with your mother. Maybe you guys could be focusing on mending that right now, even whether they're here or not, okay? If you're worried about, you know, people may be trying to throw things at you. I just, you know, Libra, just whatever you're worried about, you and the people you love are safe, regardless of what's happening, okay? You and your loved ones are safe. Let's change of heart. Okay. 
and we have emotions are running high. So this is a very emotional time for you, Libra. And we got um, new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So your sister sign is coming out a lot. Um, if you don't know what um, Aries, yeah, don't let pride get in your way. And the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. Um, your sister sign is Aries because that's your opposite sign. So a lot of you guys will benefit from tapping into that energy or you benefit from talking to an Aries at this time, okay? If you guys have an Aries best friend or vice versa, this Aries may benefit from talking to you, whatever. Um, you may benefit from getting that encouragement and getting that light put under you from an Aries or from tapping into your sister sign energy, which is Aries. It's time for you to take action on something. And I feel like you guys will. You guys are cardinal energy, so you guys are not afraid to initiate action. I feel like you guys are going to have a change of heart in something. You guys are going to, once once you guys get past whatever this phase is that you're in right now, and whether, you know, once you kind of like settle with this, um, I feel like you guys are going to take off with something. Whenever the next super moon is, possibly, or just, that could just be your emotions right now, but. That can, this can even be taking place during Scorpio season this year. But just pay attention, try to come back to this. If you remember to, if you, you know, whatever. Some of you guys need to open up your heart too. Try not to let what's going on close. You know, because sometimes Libras, you guys can come off cold to people. You guys can be cold. You guys can be that queen of swords energy, right? Um, You guys can be really like, like stern, logical, cold and stern. Um, try focusing on opening your heart. You guys do rule the heart chakra. Try opening your heart at this time. Okay, try not to let what's going on harden you or make you feel insecure. Okay? Yeah. Whether you're single or not, whether you work, you know, or not, just try to keep an open heart right now. Because you guys, yeah, something, okay. Um, yeah, betrayals. Ten of so you could have some of you guys could have been betrayed by a friend. Okay, some of you guys have repressed feelings towards this. You haven't really expressed this. A lot of you guys are apathetic. Yeah, a lot of you guys feel directionless. Okay, something could be going on with your car. So make sure you get that check. Some of you guys may be wanting to get a new car. You're needing to. Yeah, some of you guys, there could there could have been some type of ending here. Maybe an ending to a job, a field that you're in. Hopefully not a relationship. I don't think so, though. Um, what's this betrayal? Yeah, scattered. So Page of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like the, you know, Page of Swords is, talks about getting new information. Okay, new ideas. Okay, looking over information. Okay, looking back at something, you know, double checking before moving forward. Okay, spying, social, you know, somebody looking at you on social media. But in reverse, it talks about gossip. So, you know, this could have been a lot of work gossip. Okay, we got Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, you know, there could have been a lot of work. There could have been a lot of gossip about you at your job or what you do for work. Especially if you guys do something that people may not agree with. Okay, maybe you guys feel but maybe this was you who betrayed a friend or a colleague. A colleague could have, you know, there's some betrayal here. This is money and career. So there's some type of betrayal here. Somebody could have, um, people like to also call you guys airheads. You guys are not airheads. Even if you think you're an airhead, you're not an airhead. So I just think you guys get easily scattered because you guys represent the scale. So sometimes you guys get thrown off balance easily, especially if you're around people who just kind of want to, um, walk all over you or try to walk all over you or try to dominate you or boss you around that could throw you off just like if you guys try to walk all over someone or boss them around they can throw you off as well um what's the scattered energy for past 
Yeah, I feel like you guys' emotions, King of Cups, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, your emotions. Yeah, you could have been distracted by whoever this King of Cups was, okay? This could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, just somebody with this in your chart. And they don't have to be a water sign. They can just embody this King of Cups energy. This could have been somebody older than you, okay? Or you could have been older than this person. There could, there's definitely an age difference here, a big age difference. Okay, this, you know, you could have been emotionally distracted by this person. They could be a fire sign and embody this King of Cups energy. They could be an air sign or earth sign. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, distraction here. This could have been somebody that was unreliable. They could have kept secrets from you guys. Yeah, unfortunately, I hope none of you, yeah, some of you guys could have suffered a miscarriage if you did. My apologies. Okay. Um, there could have been secrets about some type of pregnancy. Yeah, there's something here that could have, there were secrets about something. And if it wasn't about uh, anything like that, um, this could have just been, you guys could have just been stagnant because of this person. You weren't trusting your intuition. Um, Taurus Libra energy here. You guys aren't, you guys weren't in your energy, you know, in your natural energy. Some of you guys weren't listening to your intuition. Yeah, this person was unreliable. Somebody here was unreliable or somebody could have felt like you were unreliable. Okay. Maybe your man. This could have been your boss even. What's this coming up? Yeah, content. Yeah, this could have been somebody that you this ooh. So this could have been somebody that you were sleeping with, okay? We got Virgo energy. This could have been a colleague, a co-worker, a boss. Um, but this person kind of throws you off emotionally. You could have been um you and this person could have drunk a lot together, had a lot of sex together, indulged in some type of pleasure together, okay? You guys could have been very self-indulgent in the past and it could have thrown you off. It could have, you know, you could have gotten scattered. There's some type of betrayal amongst friends, though. That it may be like there's no coming back from it. This person, this could have felt like a wish fulfillment. For some of you guys also, some of you guys could have... Maybe some of you guys considered being counselors or therapists or you could have studied psychology okay maybe that's something that you guys need to go back and study maybe you guys need to see a psychologist or therapist i know if you want to become a therapist or psychologist you have to see one or you have to see one on your own for like 10 years that's like a that's like which that's a requirement so some of you guys need to go back some of you guys may need to go back to something some of you guys may need to go back and study something Maybe you guys need to study the side. If you guys are in makeup, right, cosmetology, maybe you guys need to study the psych, um, the psychology behind it. The psychology behind whatever it is you do for work. Adding psych, adding a psych, adding a psychological aspect to your service would um really like benefit. Say you say you do like cosmetics, right? Maybe creating a website where people do quizzes where they find what's the best thing for them. You know, stuff like that. You know how sites have best quizzes or if you're a trainer or a coach of some sort, right? A teacher, you know, um, you may benefit from adding some type of psychological aspect to it, but you're gonna, you know, you should go back to school and get certified for this. Some of you guys need to go back and complete a certification, complete something that you started but didn't finish. There's something about the emotional aspect of yourself or whatever it is you do for work that's going to help, like, elevate your career better for yourself so you can be, so you can show up better in your career. Um, yeah, some of you guys could be studying something. Um, current money, career, energy, yeah, some of you guys could definitely be getting some type of sort of, some license for coaching or something. You guys may want to be life coaches instead. Yeah, security. Yeah, you guys don't have to worry about your finances if you are. I feel like, you know, yeah, I feel like don't you guys may be afraid of losing. A, somebody could be afraid of losing a home. Um, I feel like you're fine. I feel like it's all in your head, really, Seven of Cups. I think you guys are just, listen to your intuition. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be fine. You guys really need to surrender here, okay? We got surrender to divine. We got two surrender cards here. Hangman, Pisces energy, and surrender to the divine. So a lot of you guys need to just surrender to what's happening. It's all in your head. This fears, whatever you guys are feeling, could be all in your head, okay? You guys could be worried about your father too. 
some of you guys could be worried about a father figure, okay? Maybe some, you know, there could be some a, something that happened with this father figure. But um, maybe you don't talk to, maybe you don't have a good relationship with your father figure. That could be what affects your success, your business in some way, or how you show up amongst like your peers or your bosses, your managers, okay? Some of you guys could have slept with your a boss or a manager and people are talking about this. If this is not you, this could just, then, you know, for, this is for those of you who work a nine to five or who work for someone else. And this, could, this is in the past energy, so maybe this was stuff that you did in the past, right? Some of you guys could have been battling alcohol in the past that could have interfered with your success. But okay, so what's the four principles for Pisces? I feel like you guys are definitely focusing on your stability right now. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling, some of you guys are having or feeling anxiety about something. It could be surrounding your home, whether this is your mother figure going through this or you're a mother figure that's worried about your stability of your home. I feel like you're going to be fine. You just don't put, you know, there's something you're procrastinating on. Just don't procrastinate on whatever this is you need to do. Make sure it gets done. What's this anxiety here? Okay. Some of you guys could be holding too tightly on to something. And that could be why you guys could be stagnant right now because you're holding too tightly onto your money. That can be that can be um fucking with the ebb and flow of money. Money works best when it's in the state of um flow, giving, receiving, giving, receiving. You know when you guys are in your natural state of balance. Anxiety. Some of you guys could be penny pinching right now. Some of you guys could be saving for a home. Okay, you could be a little anxious around. You could be feeling anxious around that anxiety here. Yeah, but I get King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles upright. If you guys are, yeah, I feel like you guys' relationship, your home life, your career is secure, okay? Something you guys may be feeling insecure about something. We got Queen of Swords here, your energy in reverse, bitchy. So some of you guys may, some of you guys, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I feel like some of you guys right now, King of Swords, some of you guys have water moons, or you're a water moon with an air moon. Some of you, um, or Earth, whatever. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys could be a bit bitchy. Some of you guys are dealing with an Earth sign, or somebody who acts. And you know, the King of Pentacles again. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, or a Water sign, or Air sign who acts like a King of Pentacles, right? Just because it's Earth energy doesn't mean that it has to be an Earth sign. Some of you guys are dealing with an Earth sign. Some of you guys could be. This could be a father. You could be worried, having some anxiety about your father, or your father could be worried about you. Okay. Some of you guys, your energy can be very up and down. You guys can be very emotional right now. You may not be in the best space emotionally. Some of you guys could be lashing out, okay? I feel like it's because you're out of balance right now. You could have been giving a lot. If you guys are mothers, right, or you take care of the home, maybe you were doing too much on your own. And this, you know, the King of Pentacles, he's the one that, you know, he makes, you know, he's, this is a husband or father. He goes out, he works, you know. You guys maybe stay at home moms or stay at home wives, and maybe you know you, you're a bit overwhelmed right now. Maybe you guys need a break. Some of you guys battle with codependency issues. Some of you guys are codependent on validation from others, and maybe you guys aren't getting that back. So you're you're, you're lashing out. You need to get out of your head. A lot of you need to get out of your head. If you're worried about finances, you're gonna be fine. If you're worried about your position at work, if you have a controlling boss or a manager, I feel like you'll find a way to get to kind of get what you want, okay? Some of you guys are bosses or managers, or you want to be or will be. But your money is, you're fine, Libra, if you're worried about money. Yeah, transition. A lot of you guys could be worried about a move here. There could be delays with travel or a move, whether you're moving locations at work, whether you're moving in a different different location, an actual move, buying a home, moving into a different space. Um, this is going to, you know, you got to get out of, I feel like you guys are going to, you're going to be feeling anxious, but I feel like, you know, you're focusing on your financial stability is going to kind of ease this transition. It's going to kind of, Six of Swords talks about, um, moving from murky, like, uh, crazy waters to smoother, 
ones. So if you guys were in a bad space emotionally, I feel like you're going to be in a better space soon. You guys could be feeling a bit impatient. Yeah, there could be delays in travel, okay? Just keep that in mind for if you're traveling, okay? There could be some dysfunction around the home. Yeah, somebody could be confessing something to you that could, that could be making you feel depressed, okay? You got Leo energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Moon and Libra, um, Saturn energy. Okay, with this Saturn retrograde, there could be some bad karma that's coming back to you guys or to someone. Or something could just be delayed right now where Saturn is retrograding. Um, we got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy. Yeah, there could be di some dysfunction around. You know, Libra... Your last reading I did for you guys, you got Capricorn energy here, Aries energy. Somebody here is controlling. Somebody here is a, um, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of drama going on within your family or friends right now. Some of you guys want to get away from this. You could be impatient right now. Somebody could not be making a decision. There could be delays here. Something definitely in regards to family. Some of you guys may want to move away from this person or from these people. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be confessing something. Somebody's mask is going to be falling off. Yeah, somebody, some of you guys could be depressed here. Some of you guys want to move away from this king of pentacles, whether whoever this is, whoever this energy is. It could be any sign, but they're just, you know, whoever this masculine energy is, man or woman, you want to get away from this person or vice versa. It's the six of swords here. Yikes. Some of you guys could be some of you guys could be mentally disconnecting from a job, a place, people. From, you could be mentally disconnected from the current career that you do right now. You may want to do something different. You maybe do something just because it brings you security. What's this? Yeah, but I see you guys take yeah, I see you guys moving. I see you guys taking action. There are gonna be delays, but I see you guys taking action regardless. I see you guys taking action. You may take, you may be moving with a King of Pentacles, whoever, whatever masculine energy that is, man or woman. Okay, it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. It's because it's Pentacles. It could be any sign. They just embody that energy. Um, there will be action taking place. There will be communication coming in as well. This person may need to get their finances in order before you hear from this person. Um, action. Yeah, you may need this could be an I don't know how this ties into your money, but yeah, bitchy. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be ooh. This could be some of you guys are taking somebody to court for child support. Or somebody could be taking you to court for child support. Yeah, death card resist. Um, yeah, there's some um, Scorpio energy. There's some resisting to change here. We got the King of Cups here in upright, but the Queen of Cups is in reverse. So there's something going on. We got Ace of Pentacles abundance. You guys are going to be starting over. Some of you guys are leaving a marriage. Yeah, this could have been somebody that you, yeah, this could have been a, yeah. I feel like regardless, some of you guys may have to, somebody here may have to start over if they're leaving a marriage or a job, especially if you're going to work for yourselves. Some of you guys could lose a bit of clients here, but I think you guys will be fine. Yeah, there could, there will be, maybe there is going to be a struggle, but you guys have everything you need. Magician energy, Virgo and Gemini energy. You might, you may have that in your chart. I feel like you guys are going to have everything you need to make whatever this move or to make this happen. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys could be cursing somebody else. Somebody could be cursing somebody. Some of y'all, somebody here is getting torn a new one. If you don't know what that saying means, it means somebody is cursing somebody out. Okay. Somebody could be money hungry. Somebody's getting told off. Um, let's see. What's the future energy for like money career? Uh, energy, um, like yeah, super. Yeah, so some of you guys will be. So somebody here, there could be. Yeah, some of you guys could be realizing. Yeah, some of you guys could be realizing a relationship, a marriage, a job. It's just not making you happy. 
you've been doing this maybe you were dependent on somebody financially yeah something is not equal here there's no equal give and take here so there may will be a or this could be just energy some of you guys may be pulling back your energy from someone a friend family this person may try to be codependent on you for your money or finances for those of you who are in a good financial standing who for those of you who are independent okay somebody here somebody here could be jealous they don't want you to have they don't want you in this nine of pentacles energy they want you stagnant yeah this could be die fun this could be family they can't accept them some people can't they these people aren't going to change this person isn't going to change what's this superficial Some of you guys are realizing you're doing here still, mate. So I feel like if you guys procrastinate, <laughs> you um, page of pentacles. Some of you guys are procrastinating on something, or somebody could be procrastinating on giving you something. Okay, they may not be making a decision right now. Okay, there's somebody's not somebody's refusing to make a decision. There's a change of heart in something. Re something needs to be reevaluated. Oh, what's the stalemate energy? Yeah, I feel like somebody here, persistence. Yeah, I feel like somebody here may be trying to hold on. Somebody here could be called dependent on somebody's energy. Yeah, somebody needs to, some of you guys need a rest. Some of you guys, you, because somebody here could be overworking themselves, okay? Somebody here is very, you could have been dealing with a superficial energy, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. So yeah, I feel like um somebody you could be dealing with somebody that's stubborn. I feel like somebody here, so this is the issue. We got the nine of wands talks about doing something over and over again and expecting different results. So some of you guys need to reevaluate your business model, um, how you do business, who you do business with. Okay, maybe you need to you know, it's like some of you guys. You're losing money or you won't be see some of you and this is what I was saying with this King of Cups this and this page of swords um earlier. Some of you guys need to go back and restudy something, redo something, okay? Take another course, take a course again. Because you guys, you know, you may be trying to offer a service that you're not really that knowledgeable in. And you could be trying to overcharge people or you could be trying to just you know it's like somebody here is, is is doing something over and over again and they're wondering why their money isn't coming in they're wondering why things wondering why things are stale things aren't happening okay you need to rest take a break from this and you need to go back and look at something okay for some that for those for yeah confidence some of you guys need yeah some of you guys need to ooh, so this queen of wands and this queen of swords is having like a face off action oriented a lot of you guys look at this cap you guys need to go back to school for something or you will be Queen of Wands here. yeah some of you guys need to do that yeah forgiveness so some of you guys may be having a hard time forgiving something we got regret somebody could be in regret it could be a fire sign yeah some of you guys are disappointed in something or someone okay what's this three of swords here Yeah, vision, okay? Some of you guys need to go back to the drawing board here, okay? And we got breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. So you guys need to, somebody here needs to start over. The Ten of Swords is here, right? And then we have the Ace of Swords. So um, the worst part is over, luckily, for whatever you guys are going through or whatever is happening, the worst part is over, okay? You just, you need to go, you need to go revise something. Some of you guys are, some of you guys um, may need, some of you guys may want to, get your body done okay some of you guys may be making changes some of you guys could have gotten um some type of cosmetic surgery or some type of work done and now you may be regretting it there could be regrets about that okay maybe you didn't need to do that after all maybe all you needed to do was work out or just stick to a better do a different 
skincare regimen. Okay, but there's something that you guys need to stick to the plan. Or go back and re-look at the plan. Yeah. This uh, and, and whatever this is, and for those of you, if this is in regards to like maybe you're leaving a marriage and you don't, you know, and that affects your money because if you were a stay-at-home wife or stay-at-home mom, you're gonna have to start over. Maybe you guys invested a lot of time with this person. A lot of energy could have been put into this. A lot of you guys need to love yourselves, though. Some of you guys could be contemplating on spending or investing in some type of procedure that you don't need. Okay? I don't know what to title this reading, but we'll see. A lot of you guys may feel like if you look better, then things... Well, a lot of you guys need to balance out. We got the lucky card. A lot of you guys need to balance out your self-esteem. You could be comparing yourself to somebody your partner cheated on you with or chose over you or comparing yourself to that co-worker, that colleague, that boss who got the position over you, who somebody who's in the same field as you doing better. You need to focus on yourself. Um, masculine energy... Um, it's Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, Gemini, and Aries and Aquarius. Um, action, emit, give, reason, and reality. Okay? Some of you guys need to stop procrastinating on something and get to it. Okay? A lot of you guys are too stuck in the vision process, visionary process of it where you're, you're thinking about it, you're daydreaming about it, but you're not putting forth any action. And you're going to end up missing out on an opportunity. And, you're gonna be, and don't, you can't be mad at other people around you for taking up on something that you were sitting there in your head daydreaming about, okay? Some of you guys could be worried about... Mm. Yeah. Some of you guys need to... Okay, um, let's, let's move because this is already... Yeah. Neptune, spirituality, intuition, dreams, idealism, illusion, the veil. Yeah, a lot of you guys are too stuck in the, in the, you guys are like, you guys have dreams, but you don't do nothing. And some of you guys, for those of you who are married or if you were dependent on someone else, you're going to have to, if you were dependent on your parents or whatever, you're going to have to make moves, okay? Some of you guys are going through a spiritual ascension right now as well. Yeah, we have fall. This could be taking place in um, the fall. Find your expression in an uncomfortable environment. So some of you guys are moving. Some of you guys are moving or you need to move. You need to get out of your comfort zone. You spent too much time there. Um, in conjunction, adjustment to make, learning through experience. Yes, you guys are going through an upgrade right now. This could feel harsh, but it's probably because you guys were being stubborn to change, right? We got 11th house Aquarius energy, friends, fraternity, collective um, projects, community activism. So this could definitely have been something that happened with your friends. Hopefully nobody's friends slept with their man or boss or something. I don't know. Husband. I don't know. Something weird here. This was something. I picked up some fucking drama and messiness in your last meeting I did. You may want to check that out too because that shit was fucking messy as fuck. Where the reading that says, um, get the popcorn, like that shit was messy. Messy. Yeah, some of you guys could also be changing your looks up. Come fall. Or maybe you guys do something now that you regret it a few months down the line. I don't know, something about changing up the look, your body, whether it's getting something going under the knife doing something to your look that you guys may not you guys may end up not liking at some point that you can't take back especially if you put a lot of money into it you guys may just be like damn you guys could have made a big purchase and you just don't like it as much anymore you could have made you could have did something for superficial reasons could have invested a lot of money time into something or someone superficially and now your regret is regret but you gotta you know still push through so just you know 
Just okay. push through it, child. Um, advice for Libra placements. Happiness. Combine talent with passion. Live your dreams, helping others. Gratitude journal, self-love. You guys, and this is what I'm saying, right? With this King of Cups, you know, the King of Cups is also like a therapist here. This is somebody that's very, you know, a lot of y'all need to, yes, you can, some of you guys are very talented, but if you need, but you need to, you're talented, yes, you guys are good at something, but you need to go back and redo something. Some of you guys need to work on your self-esteem, okay? It's something in regards to your emotional state of being that you need self-love. I can't, you guys need to be happy in order for this, in order for whatever this is to take off, especially if you're in the public eye of some sort where your face, your body is being modeled or you're being shown something or you do something with the body or you're just on center stage, whatever it is, right? You guys need to love your, if you're helping others feel good about themselves, you need to feel good about yourself. Some of you guys need to see a therapist. We need to get a, a coach to help you feel better about yourself. You need to be happy with yourself before this takes off, whatever this is, okay? Um, that could be what's affecting your money, too, your lack of self-worth, your self-esteem. So we have um, a lot of you guys, same thing like I told Taurus, I want you guys to get a gratitude journal, okay? You guys need to start being more grateful. You guys, you know, you're, some of you guys can be really superficial. When one thing is out of place, when one hair is out of place, it, it's like you guys, the whole world is just relax. Okay? Just calm down. Allowing. Relax. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Have faith. Allow situations to unfold. Answers come. Highest outcome. Yeah. You guys got to surrender. You guys can't control whatever this is. No matter how much you try to bitch and moan, complain, it ain't going to change shit. Stop procrastinating. Get off your ass and do what you need to do, okay? And just let things in a flow state. Let things flow. Do what you need to do. A lot of you guys are procrastinating for some of you. It's, but, and you're bitching and, you're bitching and moaning at the same time. Make it make sense. In flow state. In the zone. Loving life. Focus. High frequency. Skills. Meets. Challenge. Flotation. Therapy. Flotation therapy. Some of you guys need to do some water therapy. Some of you guys need to get some, some form of therapy. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, and skill. You guys need to work on your skills. You guys need to focus on your skills. Don't be out here trying to put some half ass shit together just for the money. Okay? Um, especially if you do something cosmetically to other people's appearances. Don't be half ass. Um, don't go around and lose your license or whatever. Lose clients. Respond versus react. Express from a loving place. Old trigger, old trigger and trauma yields drama. New beneficial thought patterns. You guys need to change your thought um, processes at this time. Okay? Some of you guys need to change your thought processes. All that complaining ain't going to do nothing. And then we have giving and receiving. Didn't with the six of pentacles, you guys need to be in a constant, you guys need to be in a, a natural state of giving and receiving. Some of you guys aren't right now. Everything is energy, reciprocity, give, receive easily to others and yourself, random acts of kindness. Some of you guys have done something or put effort into something for the wrong reasons, for superficial reasons. And because you didn't get something back right away, or maybe you didn't get a compliment, a compliment back right away, or whatever it is you didn't get back right away, you feel some type, you feel some type way about it that's not why you do what you're doing that shouldn't be why you're doing it trying too hard <laughs> force creates resistance let go and watch it flow rest be lighthearted, and burn out some of you guys are burnt out right now and you're burnt out because you need to chill you're trying to control or overdo something that you just can't right now This is this deck is the chakra healing messages. Okay, I got it off Etsy. Yeah, a lot of y'all are scared of yeah. Some of you guys could be disconnecting from social media, from you guys could be taking a break. Okay, or you will be. Um advice for you yeah, we have suspicious and fearful. A lot of you guys are not trusting your intuition. 
That's why you feel. And with that two of swords there, you guys are not know. You guys are having a hard time making a decision because you're scared. You're acting out of a place of fear. Your heart is blocked off because of fear. You're feeling insecure because okay. of fear. And when you're in the space of fear, you can't hear or feel your intuition. And then when that anxiety kicks in, you start making decisions and being impulsive because of anxiety, because you're feeling anxious about something or in, and impatient when you guys need to just chill out before you something blows up in your face. We got throat chakra. Okay. It says communication, self-expression, healing and releasing. And creativity. The stones for this, if you guys care, sodalite, ange angelite, blue lace, um, agate, and it's the ether for the element, archangel Michael. And the affirmation is, I speak only the truth and I listen to others. So some of you guys could be, some of you guys could be in this, some of y'all could be lying. I don't know. There could be some lies here, some gossip, especially if there was, whether this was you gossiping or somebody else, clouded judgment, okay? Somebody is, somebody's crown chakra is blocked to and third eye because your heart is, something for you guys, the heart up from the heart to the throat to the third eye and crown is blocked. You guys need to work on that. Especially if you guys do energy work or if you work with others well everybody kind of works with others unawakened and feeling lost some of you guys feel aimless right now yeah conflict and drama and we got overreacting somebody could be overreacting or it could be you you might have suppressed anger so some of you guys maybe you guys could be acting out because you could have been suppressing these feelings toward you know you could have been having these feelings of resentment toward someone okay we got inability to cope with changes. So, yes, I feel like some with that nine of wands, some of you guys are trying to hold on too tightly. You guys need to change. Somebody here, something needs to change, right? And somebody here is holding too tightly on to something. And, you know, the inability, the inability to cope with changes is what's causing all of this mess and chaos, or it will be. Somebody here could be a liar. Somebody here lies a lot. They could have lied about their money, okay? You could be lying about your money, we got unable to self-reflect. Yeah. Wearing a mask. So this could be you or someone here that's wearing a mask. Somebody could be t getting really defensive. Yeah, we got a worried mind here, okay? So some of you guys need to, you know, deal with that, that anxiety. We got sacral chakra too. <sighs> Emotions, creativity, sexuality, pleasure. Somebody could be... You may be finding out that your husband is bisexual or your boyfriend is bisexual or somebody that you some type of masculine energy, man or woman, could be bisexual, could be your ass, who knows? It doesn't matter anyway. But somebody's wearing a mask, somebody's been lying to themselves or trying to hide this truth. Okay. Um, carnelian, sunstone, snowflake, obsidian, the element is water, the archangel, zodiquel, and the affirmation. I, I probably butchered that. The, um, the affirmation is, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. So somebody here needs to, yeah, somebody here is, you guys could be finding out low self-esteem. So this could be you or someone. Maybe you guys find out that your person is um, bisexual. Maybe you guys feel insecure about that, okay? You could be comparing yourselves. Somebody could be undergoing a sex change, okay? We got materialistic. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles, somebody here is very materialistic. Some of y'all could have got with somebody for that. And now y'all, um, somebody here is going to be, somebody got with somebody for the wrong reasons, could have married for the wrong reasons, and they're going to be losing money. We got shyness and social anxiety. Okay, one more, because it's already 53 minutes. And we got stubborn. Yeah, somebody here is very stubborn here. And we got resentment. Okay resentment blocks the flow of love and when the love of, if love is blocked it's like everything else is blocked money love happiness harmony okay so libra you somebody you know somebody here needs to somebody could be coming out the closet some of y'all could be yeah somebody could be really undergoing some type of sex change your families may not be supporting of this maybe somebody here if you are bisexual you feel like your family won't be won't support this Okay, somebody could have been keeping this hidden because they were afraid of being judged by others. But somebody here needs to come out with this, okay, in order for them to be happy. Whether this is you or somebody in your family or somebody that you're close with, somebody here needs to um, be honest about 
their sexuality. Somebody here needs, somebody here it could be, and it could be a breakthrough. Somebody could be undergoing some type of breakthrough with this. It could be somebody's spouse, husband or wife, if you ask me. This is because that y'all last reading was messy Ooh. as fuck. Messy. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong. Maybe you guys are dating somebody that's bisexual. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as people are honest about, you know, where they're at. Okay. I feel like this will bring more harmony and more peace and balance to this connection or to this work, whatever it is, whatever this is. Whatever this is is going on, it's affecting your money. Could be you know, it could be affecting your career. Maybe some of you guys have undergo some type of cosmetic surgery to enhance your career if you're a dancer, strippers. Or if you have only fans, or if you're bottle girls, okay, um, and maybe you guys regret that. Somebody, you could be, you know, if you're with somebody that's, maybe you guys could be married or dating somebody that's super superficial, and they could be, they could be, um, they could, um, they can sit there and judge and pick at people's bodies, so you guys feel insecure. But this person is materialistic, and anybody that's materialistic don't have shit to offer. A materialistic person doesn't have nothing to offer themselves or people. They're shallow. Shallow people have nothing to offer anybody. Okay? They don't have nothing to offer. Somebody here could be constantly getting used for their money because they're so materialistic and shallow. Or somebody could be using their looks or whatever to make money, to get money from people. Anyways, Libra, it's messy, just like your past reading. You may want to look at your recent reading I did for y'all. Um, it's messy, y'all. Okay? Um, if you liked any part of this reading, Libra, like, share, and subscribe. If you don't, that's fine. That's okay. You know, your prerogative. Um, but yeah, somebody here could definitely be, there's some issue. There's some, definitely some, some stuff going on with sexuality. I don't know how this ties into your money and career, but it does. <laughs> but, um, your boss may be by, I mean, anyways, you may find out a coworker is. Anyways. Um, but Libra, this was your reading. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Comment below and let me know what's going on because your last reading was crazy. Let me know what's going on, guys. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.